Ah! Billy, don't do that! You're gonna give your mother a heart attack! Sorry. What the hell are you wearing? I'm going to a Halloween party as a ghost! Are you wearing a party hat underneath that sheet? Yeah! Take it off before you leave the house. Oh, come! Because you look like you just stepped out of Texas, Billy. Trust me on this. <laughs> Have any carrots? Do we have any other fresh veggies you may enjoy? Or maybe some hay? But that means I'll need to go out. What nightmare night? Or, or you could tell the little brat to do without, like a parent is supposed to. Anderson, what are you doing out and about? It's nightmare night. Remember? How could I forget? Who knows what lurks inside? Oh. I'm sure I don't. Is it the mummified pony that just leaped out at you? I don't know. Is it? And what's that crunching sound beneath your hooves? Well, f you too, Granny. Hmm. It's nightmare night. Your jittery is all hell. Let's go to the big, dark, ominous castle of the reigning princess. No way anything creepy is gonna be there. I thought maybe you decided to come out with us tonight. Goodness, no. I couldn't be out tonight. I just couldn't. This is how I feel about Remembrance Day. Oh, don't give me that look. Every nightmare night I shut myself in my cottage and refuse to come out until morning. But it's just like when I was afraid to sing in front of any pony. If I hadn't given it a try, I never would have found out how much I enjoy it. And we'd have missed out on how great you sound. Oh, great. This is a Fluttershy episode, isn't it? Wait. This is a Season 5 Fluttershy episode. Awesome! I am so on board with this, you could hammer nails into me and call me a doorknob. Mummy? No. Headless Pony? No. Vampire Fruit Bat? Ugh, definitely no. Laugh, bronies! Laugh, goddammit! They can just be so difficult to see out of. Yes, but this one has eye holes. What about being able to see what's to the left or right of me? It's called a neck. You turn it. <laughs> Fluttershy, what's wrong? It's just that, um, what happens if when my head is deep down in the water, some kind of scary monster appears? How would I even hear to know I was under attack? You have five other people in the room with you. The charm of your jittery fear is swiftly draining away. I really want to do this, but there's just so many things that terrify me about tonight. I couldn't possibly predict what might upset me. Take comfort in this knowledge, Fluttershy. The most dangerous thing you could possibly run into on Nightmare Night is not only something you've vanquished before, but is also on lockdown in Canterlot for reckless endangerment of the public. This is a steam green light trailer for Five Nights at Fluttershy's. Quick, every pony, look behind you! Uh, what are those? They're unplanned guests. Is that one on the left, Sailor Moon? All five of them are from shows that nobody but Digi will recognize, aren't they? Or maybe not. I suppose I could have gone with something a bit scarier. You're right. I've been taking baby steps. I think it's time for grown-up ones. Excuse me, I'll be back in a minute. Finally! Whew, there's Granny Smith. Not that I was ever scared, because I wasn't. I'm a pretty good actress when I want to be. That's funny, because that's the worst Texas accent I've ever heard. Yeah, I went there. Come fight me, bro. Come on, me. Do me do. <laughs> oh hey, I just remembered. I'm God. We do lots of fun things together, but I'm afraid this just isn't going to be one of them. Actually, I'm not afraid. I'm perfectly fine with it. Then we are too. Speaking as a writer myself, I empathize with the fact that it's very difficult to close out on an Aesop without sounding like a f***ing greeting card. 